what's up guys we are over on world flipper to take a look at Celine and the best direct attack water damage team that you could possibly build kidding it's not the best but this is a very fun little team that i threw together so i want to show you guys what i put together and just kind of the wonkiness that is what this is <laughs> we're gonna go take a look at it right now we hop on over to team guys we are running Celine, Viren, Sonia, Caillou, Cypher, and Parfait. And this is working somehow because this is all just kind of that attack up, direct attack damage up the increase based on HP. We've got a little bit of regen with Caillou. And I just want to go over each individual thing here and why this is working the way it is. This all started with the idea of just wanting to put Celine as a leader for a direct attack damage team. And then I accidentally was on Parfait's page for a completely separate reason. I was looking at Parfait and when I was reading her abilities, I looked and I was like, her abilities work very well for direct attack damage. So we have the first ability here, which is while HP for another unit is above 80% plus 50% to direct attack hit damage for that unit. And then we have her ability to every five times this unit destroys a foe plus 4.2% attack for all other allied units up to a maximum of 21%. What's fun here is if we back up and we take a look at Cypher, we look at Cypher's abilities and we go down, we have the second ability here, while HP for this unit is above 80% plus 40% attack, for water units and her ability three which she is in that main slot while well, this unit is the main unit while hp for water units is above 80 percent plus 15 percent to fire resistance for that unit and 30 percent to attack so there's a theme here you've got this above 80 percent thing going on that parfait is just complementing with this direct hit damage now if we hop on over to celine take a look at celine's abilities celine's ability is 40 percent attack to water units and 60 percent direct attack damage so we are just going to be buffing this up we're buffing up our attack we're buffing up our direct attack damage so we're getting these two separate things going on that are going to be consistently applied with this team so we also have Celine's ulti that increases attack we hop over quickly and look at Sonya look at her here we have increases attack of all parties with her ulti skill activating and then we have her ability three which she is a main unit while buff is or active this unit deals two direct hits with plus 50 percent to total damage dealt so now she's dealing two with the attack buffs up so celine is providing the attack buff sonia is providing the attack buff and they're increasing the time these buffs are active if we look at sonia's skill number two we have 50 percent to the time buff is active for this unit we back up and we look at celine Celine also has if we look at her ability number one we have 20% to attack for this unit 15% to the time attack buff is slash are active for the party so there is this very synergetic theme going on here where we are upping direct attack damage increasing our attack with buffs supplied by these ulti skills and maintaining the time that they are active then we have this attack buff is active for this unit plus 20% to attack for the party plus 20% direct hit damage so Celine and Sonia are going to be buffing each other and helping each other out with these attack buffs for the party and it's going to be maintained by these time extenders that they both have so these work nice together and then on top of that we have Celine's ability three when this unit is a main unit while hp for this unit is 50 percent or above we get an extra 42 percent to direct it damage for water units while this unit is the main unit while hp is above 80 percent plus 84 percent to direct it damage for this unit so we are buffing up herself and the rest of the team's hit damage and then Sonya is going to be double hitting as well as Cypher is going to be receiving these direct hit buffs as well and is going to be applying attack up for the party. The reason that we have Caillou here, a lot of these effects are based on your HP staying up. So we want to make sure that we are okay staying alive and keeping the team semi healthy here because we want to make sure all of those buffs and abilities that are dependent on your HP being above a certain threshold, we want them to stay active for as long as possible. So keeping yourself alive, keeping your team healthy is a very crucial part of this all functioning. This unit is like the perfect unit for this team. She is going to be healing and restoring HP boosted for water units. So your front row is going to be healing up really well with this because you're going to get that hp regen which i'm going to show you in a run how that works you're going to keep your hp maintaining going up as this unit activates their ulti and then we're also applying an attack up 
for all allies, which as we saw when buffs are up, we're getting huge damage bonuses for the rest of our teams. I know water direct attack isn't like the most like crazy hype thing in the world, but for this to function the way it is and as fluid as it works, I, I don't know. It works. It's fun though. And as you guys probably know what Viren does by now, but for those of you who don't, Viren is going to just be buffing up his own attack and then he's going to be giving the team pierce and then going to be increasing the attack for all allies. So this is a way for you to move through, gain damage, and then it's going to let you have that pierce ability to fly through and let your team move around more freely without being restricted by any kind of mechanics the boss throws up. And to top this all off, we have the weapon and soul layout. So if we back up here, we've got the Spear of Okeanos on Selene. This is going to be upping attack for water units when attack buffs are active. And as you guys saw, there's a lot of of attack ups going on with this team composition. We have the L Tide staff on Sonya. So while HP is above 60%, 50% attack for water units, this is kind of going with that whole theme that the team needs to be above that HP threshold while they're doing that direct attack damage, staying healthy and doing extra damage here. That's why it's all on the souls here. I have this set up so we are going to be healing and trying to stay above that threshold the whole time. And I wanted to maximize the damage that that staff can provide there. So the Eltide Staff is going everywhere here. And then on Cypher, we have the Habakiri for the Viren Pierce. When Viren activates his ult, you get Pierce. And the party is going to receive that attack up while Pierce is active. So this is a nice little bonus here. We're going to take a look at a run I did earlier with this team in the Necropolis. I want to show you guys how the team's functioning. So we're going to hop in and look at this um, wonky monstrosity here of direct attack damage. All right, guys, I have the run up that I did a little bit ago. I want to show you how it went, how this team is functioning kind of talk about what's going on so right away as we just start hitting the boss here you just notice that this damage is pretty bananas or just something that's no, there's no skills going on there's no ultis being activated this is just straight out the gate the boss is at half hp just from direct hits the hp does fall just a little low i know some of those effects need you to be above hp 80 percent and i think we did fall just slightly underneath that threshold but the caillou act when she activates her ulti with sonia it starts that regen healing process so they just consistently just pop right back up over that threshold and your damage just continues to keep staying very strong for direct hits this is a team that if i was playing something that was pretty difficult i would manually run this to try to get as many direct hits as i could and not rely on the auto computer to try to just get in those corners and bounce off the boss consistently but watching this play on auto this is still doing a lot more damage than i initially thought it would i mean these units are all working in perfect tangent with each other I mean, look, they're just healing again, and the attack buffs are up. You're getting that above 80% HP buffs. You're getting all those L-Tide staffs are triggering. The direct attack damage is just, it works. Uh, I know that this isn't like the hyper best build in the world, but dang, this is fun because, I mean, you're using Parfait. You're using a free-to-play unit on this team, and it is benefiting the new unit that came out on the banner in such a great way. I don't know. I have no complaints with this. This is fantastic. I love taking free to play units that the game gives you and having them work in a way where they can shine because on light fever, you look at Parfait. Parfait doesn't have a home there. She's just not quite right for how that team is supposed to function. So having her shine here on a water team with Celine because direct attack damage. I mean, okay, it works. So this was a three and a half minute run. I remember when I first started doing this Necropolis with a water team, I was lucky if I was hitting like five minutes with certain teams. So it doesn't like super like, oh my God, how did you do that so fast? It's just a very consistent time of three minutes, three and a half minutes. So you guys have Celine. You guys have some of these units. I highly recommend trying a team like this. It is a lot of fun to just watch the damage go without having to wait for ultis to pop, without having to wait for certain conditions. You're just going straight out the gate with this. And guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate the support. You guys showing up and watching these is so awesome. Thank you so much again. If you're looking forward to more World Flipper content and just gotcha mobile content all around, hit that sub button. Got a lot of videos I want to do this weekend. A lot of mobile games are doing different 
events. So I'm going to be doing more World Flipper. There's some more summons that I want to do in some other gacha games for this holiday weekend. We've got War of the Visions. We've got a crazy banner that just dropped in Dragon Ball Legends. We have an upcoming Doken banner for Heroes. There's just so much happening this weekend, and I want to wish you guys a safe holiday. You guys are spending it with your families or whatever you guys are doing. Be safe. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you hit that thumbs up, remember, guys, it'll help bring my rates up. Peace, guys. Lost in the zone, zone.